lung function test in emphysema. So what parameters of lung functions are decreased and what parameters are increased in emphysema? The parameters that are decreased in emphysema are that number one, decreased FEV1. What's the percentage of FEV1 in mild, moderate and severe cases of emphysema and bronchitis? In mild cases of emphysema, FEV1 is more than 80% and in moderate cases, it's less than 80%. In severe cases, FEV1 is less than 50% and in very severe cases it's less than 30% but a FEV1 of less than 50% in respiratory failure and right heart failure is very severe condition instead of severe condition. There is decreased forced vital capacity. Number three decreased ratio of FEV1 to FEV and there is no response to bronchodilators which occurs in asthma. What's the difference in the FEV1 and FEV ratio? ratio in obstructive and restrictive lung diseases. In obstructive lung diseases, FEV1 is reduced more than FEV, so the ratio is less than 0.7. But in restrictive diseases, FEV1 and FEV are reduced to same extent, so the ratio is more than 0.7. Number four, there is decreased expiratory flow rate decreased airway resistance and air trap, decreased elasticity, decrease in diffusing capacity in emphysema. Parameters that are increased in emphysema are increased total lung capacity because of the air trapping, increased residual volume because of the air trapping, but there is less increase in total lung capacity and residual volume in chronic bronchitis than in emphysema. Increased ratio of residual volume to total lung capacity. Increased compliance and decreased elasticity. Increased minute ventilation prevents lung collapse. As volume increases, elastic recoil pressure increases and airway enlarges so that airway resistance decreases. Ventilation perfusion mismatch in emphysema. What's ventilation perfusion? If ventilation is reduced in a part of a lung, the blood supply to that part is reduced the blood vessels are constricted. Ventilation perfusion mismatching is characteristic of COPD. Ventilation perfusion mismatching accounts for essentially all of the reduction in arterial oxygen. If there is inability to correct hypoxemia in COPD patient, then it may be due to other causes. On what state of the disease arterial oxygen decreases and carbon dioxide increases? Arterial oxygen usually remains near normal until until when? Until FEV1 is reduced to less than 50% and Carbon dioxide remains normal until FEV1 is reduced to less than 25%. So when FEV1 is reduced to less than 25%, carbon dioxide increases. And when FEV1 is reduced to less than 50%, then oxygen decreases. PCO2 in chronic emphysema is 0.03 units per 10 millimeters of mercury in chronic states. And what's respiratory failure? Respiratory failure is defined as arterial oxygen of less than 60 millimeters of mercury with and without an increase in carbon dioxide of more than 50 millimeters of mercury. FEV1 may be decreased with a normal oxygen level. Okay, when to intubate the patient? When carbon dioxide is more than 50 millimeters of mercury or oxygen is less than 50 millimeters of mercury or pH is less than 7.3. What's multifactorial index? Airflow obstruction, exercise performance, dyspnea and body mass index is a better predictor of mortality than pulmonary function alone.